Dun, dun, dun. This is the king of all padlocks. Um, you know, I wish they actually offered this in a shackle shrouded uh, padlock, but uh, it, they don't offer that. But as far as shackle and just flat out size and girth uh, available to the public, this is going to be the king of the mountain. Yes, Sergeant Greenleaf does make military padlocks. I am aware of that, but they are usually only available to the military and usually can only be sold and dispersed uh, after they've been put in service. So, as far as what you can buy, this is the big daddy. This is the number 10. This is the king of all padlocks. Here we go. Um, this is the Abus 8380. You can see right there. Gigantic. Look at it next to my hand, next to my fist. This thing is huge. Uh, I don't have much else to compare it to. Here's it compared to a master lock. I'm going to eat you. Ah, yeah, this mad lock, this pa master padlock just broke in half. Just looking at this thing. Um, very, very cool design. Uh, lots of huge, beefy functions on this. For one, we've got this gigantic uh, anti-drill plate system down here uh, that is different from these. Um, you know, it is a huge, huge difference from these. We have this uh, system here to where if you're trying to drill, uh, it's gonna snap your bit, or if you try and uh, get up on it in the middle, uh, it's going to deflect that out of the way, and then I'm betting it probably even has some uh, hidden inner hardened pins like this does uh, to make it very, very drill, drill resistant. Uh, this thing is a beast. Um, it's a bit heavy for a uh, bike, but um, it would definitely make an awesome bike lock uh, if you can carry it around. There's some bikes out there that probably don't even weigh as much as this thing does. Um, Schlag keyway, uh, you can order it in different keyways. Uh, this is just the most common. So we can pop that open and boom, look at that. That's like a half inch basically shackle. I'm pretty sure it's half inch. Um, it is huge. Uh, gigantic ball bearing down in there. Um, you know, can we rekey this thing? Yep, there's a big Phillips head screw right there. So we can pop this thing out. Large screw. that needs to happen here. Oh, that's over. Hmm. Somehow that's got to come out of there. It's almost out. Here, so we can see what we're doing. There it goes. Yeah, it's just got a little lip that kind of tucks up under there. And then this should come right out. Boom. So you can make this key retaining, key non-retaining, meaning that uh, the key can only come out of, key retaining means that when the padlock is open, the key cannot come out. The key will not release until the padlock has been relocked. Non-key retaining means the exact opposite of that, that uh, the padlock, must, um, you can pull the key out whether it's open or shut. Uh, basically rekeying this, um, if you wanna check out my video, this is the exact same cylinder as the 8355. Look up Rekeying Abus 8355 with my name, Wayne Winton, and you will see how to rekey this padlock um, or the cylinder. And yes, it is the same cylinder. So not only do we have this big, burly, heavy duty, gnarly uh, pin or uh, <clears throat> anti drill plate here, uh, we have this. Um, cylinder that's going to resist drilling too. Basically to rekey this, where did my key go? Oh, probably gone. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> you would just take this, uh, push this little detent in right here, and then 
bada bing, there's your pins right there. So then you pop those pins out, pop the new key in, pop whatever pins you want in there, and done. Presto. Roll it back over. This little pin pops out, just like so. It's all doing its job just fine. And then we take this and throw it back in the lock, like so. And then we beat this giant hardened steel pin back on here. Drill. Let's see, where's my. So, definitely a very, very cool setup. Um, I wish Stanley made one this big, and I wish Abus made one with the shackle shrouding on that because we already proved how much that shackle shrouding helped uh, with this one right here. We were pretty much not able to cut this with the shackle shrouding uh, on you know, a 3 8 shackle, let alone this giant half inch one. Um, you, you wouldn't even be able to get it in the jaws of most bolt cutters. It would just not even fit. Uh, but that's not what we're here to do. We are here to test this thing out. I've already beat on one of these, and this is made the exact same way, except for way bigger. So you can beat on this lock all day long. It's not coming off. Uh, we tried it with this one here. You can see all the hammer marks and everything. No sense in trying to beat up this lock um, with a hammer. It's just going to be a waste of energy for me. So, let's get down to what is going to cut this lock. Is our bolt cutters going to do it? I don't know. Let's find out. We're going to go ahead and pretend like we're locking something up. <clears throat> oh, where's our chain? Mm. Barely even fits through the... <clears throat> Shackle there. Okay, so we've got our paywag chain on here. Um, you know, we've seen that the chain can't really be cut. I'm not thinking this shackle is going to get cut either. But um, let's run it through the gauntlet. Uh, we could probably bypass our. Well, let's just we'll tuck it in here. We'll see what it does. We'll put it in. Here. Let's see what we can do. That's about as far as I can open them. I'm not thinking we're going to be doing a whole lot of damage with this thing. The shackle is just so thick it doesn't even fit down in there. the first time I've actually felt bad for my bolt cutters. I might actually break the jaws on these. We'll find out. Alright. This one's scary enough though. I am just not sure I'm putting a. I do not feel like catching shrapnel today. got I mean that's just strung tight we're bending the metal we're bending the jaws we're bending everything but cutting that padlock and 
we're getting to the point where the jaws could literally snap in half. So um, let's just take a look. If we're doing any damage, not even close. It's doing nothing at all. That lock's not going anywhere. In fact, it's starting to deflect our <coughs> our jaws there. So that is not doing anything. This will be fun to let this go. That is some tension. Whoo! Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here. Ugh. That's a lot of force. And look at what it did to the jaws of our bolt cutters. My goodness, it put a great big huge divot in there too. So this is pretty much a stalemate. The steel in here is harder than the steel in here. And the force that could be applied, something else is going to break. The jaws are going to break or they're going to deflect. Ugh. So we'll put it in the big daddy cutter here. We're going to get it all the way in the back as far as we can. And really, <clears throat> this thing is scary to me too. Definitely. I know you guys want to see a fireworks show. Unfortunately, I do not feel like getting hit in the top of the head with super hardened steel and jaws of bolt cutters and many other things that could happen right here. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> uh, where did my glove go? already. Uh, yeah, I'm having trouble. This thing to start. Mm. I don't even want to peek under there. Yeah, I am sure that uh, neither end is giving in. Let me go ahead and show what we've got going on. I'm going to give it a couple more cranks and then I'm going to be done. Like that. Otherwise, it's going to break my bolt cutters and then I won't be able to show you some more fun stuff. I mean, I can literally barely move this freaking. That's it. I'm calling it it right there. And that's no man on the planet will be able to put that much force on this. I mean, look at it. I'm literally bending. Did it crack it? Holy smokes. It may have cracked it. Hmm.
see, that's why we need that shackle shroud. Yep, that's a crack, my friends. Uh, so let's put this in here. <clears throat> Something happened that this thing doesn't like. Huh. Okay, so did it crack or not? That looks cracked to me. Well, if that's the case, I'm about half tempted to put that back in. I mean, that's that's cracked as crack can be. Uh, it doesn't really fit in there anymore, so it's distorted it. So I'm not going to get that beat back in there. Uh, but we can Let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> this is an unexpected twist. Some things to happen. Let's see what we've got. Oh. And get it back in further. Again, sorry guys, um, but that shop is going bye bye. It's going flying, so there's no question in my mind that that's happening. Um, <clears throat> so I'm putting that all around there like so. <clears throat> you have it I did not expect that um, at all in any way shape or form but it happened so there you go the only way we'll know was to actually test this stuff uh, 
Like I said, again, for that shackle shrouding, look at how much thicker that shackle is compared to the other ones. And the shackle shrouding locks uh, were not able to be cut because they could only go in the tip up here uh, and we couldn't get them back here. And when you can get them back here, it creates just enough leverage to be able to crack that hardened steel. And when you get them up here, it actually starts to deflect the uh, the bolt cutters. So that's uh, that was not expected. Um, I really didn't think we'd be able to cut that at all, but we did. Uh, shackle shroud locks, people. I gotta have them. If they added a shackle shroud to that, that would definitely not be happening. Um, let me get this uh, done. We'll get it put up in here and we'll hit it with the angle grinder because that's everybody's favorite. We all know that it's going to cut it because eventually, no matter what, <clears throat> the end all to locks. A little bit better picture there. Wow. Look at that. It like embedded steel into steel. That's the kind of forces that are at play here. That's insane. <clears throat> Just like so. And we'll make two cuts like we would have to uh, with the angle grinder. And you can time this and see how long it's going to take. Ladies and gentlemen, the Abus 8380 uh, in pretty much every attack form. Um, you know, unless you have something that's set up like this, you're probably not going to cut that shackle in the field like that. Uh, unless you're, like I said, a 400 pound man and can lean on them on the ground. Uh, short of that, I don't think you're going to be getting them. But uh, you know, that's up to you. You see how everything stacks up? Uh, you know, maybe Abus, hey, if you guys are watching, put a shackle shroud on that. Make it bolt cutter proof. Make it impossible to cut. Um, that's what we're asking for. Uh, make your best lock just a little bit better. Uh, because, you know, they're coming out with hydraulic bolt cutters and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, and we may, we may actually try that on this one of these days here and see if we can... Well, actually, we can try it right now. If I can fit it on there. Uh, now, it won't even touch the jaws, so that may not be happening today. But uh, if I can get it to work, we'll try it again another day. Thanks for watching. Do you have any idea how much this lock costs? Go online and look up this lock. I bought this lock with my own money to do this video to destroy it for you. All I ask for is a like and a share. This bad boy right here. Very, very expensive. Check it out online. Share, subscribe, like, interact, comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, and we just need subscribers, people. We need them. So help me out. Help me help you. And we'll keep doing cool stuff like this. Thanks for watching. Wayne's Lock Shop, we strive to be the leading resource in tips, tricks, and educational videos for locksmiths. Videos are added every week on topics ranging from re-keying high security locks 
to marketing your locksmith business and everything in between, safe openings, car openings, installation tool reviews, and bypass methods are all plentiful on this secure website built by and for locksmiths. If you are a locksmith and want an inexpensive resource that will prove invaluable to you and your business, then Wayne's Lock Shop is the place for you. Please sign up today at waynesLockshop.com.